Hello again, I'm Jadri Gonzalez, English teacher, and today we're going to be learning about a real future. Stay tuned to learn about this verb tense. Okay, will future. Will future is a verb tense that is mainly used to express future. We can also use will future in order to talk about unavoidable events. That is, events that are going to occur no matter what and that do not depend on personal decisions. Here we have an example. The sun will shine tomorrow. The fact that the sun shines definitely does not depend on us. We also use will future to talk about predictions and guesses. In this case, the event is pretty much likely to occur, but we're not 100% sure that it will happen. Take a look at this example. I think Sue will arrive in Paris at 6 p.m. Most likely, Sue was already in the plane when I said the sentence, and unless something extreme happens, She'll be in Paris at 6 p.m. Finally, we also use this verb tense to speak about spontaneous decisions. Like in this example, hang on, I'll have a word with you. But it is definitely the least common use of all. Forming the future with will is very easy. You'll only need the modal verb will, that will never change, and the infinitive form of the verb. These two forms never, never change, which makes this tense very easy. Take a look at the example. They will buy the computer in two weeks. Here we have the modal verb will and the main verb in infinitive. Here we have how to build sentences in the affirmative and negative form with will future. First, we need a subject that could be any. Then the modal verb will and then the infinitive of the verb. Just like in this example. I, we, you, they he, she, it, will go to the park on Sunday. The short form of this verb tense is formed by using the apostrophe and LL after the subject. For example, he'll play volleyball next Saturday. The negative form is similar, but we will add the particle not after will and before the main verb, like in this example. I, we, you, they, he, she, it will not go to the park on Sunday. The short form of will is won't. This is very important to have in mind. Like in this example, he won't play volleyball next Saturday. As you can see, this keeps on being pretty easy because there are no significant changes in the verb. So, I think that you won't have any problems with it. Formation of the will future with yes no questions. For yes no questions, the procedure is just like it is in most of verb tenses in English will move the modal verb to the initial position of the sentence, followed by the subject and then the main verb. Just as you may see in this example, will I, we, you, they, he, she, it go to the park on Sunday? The short answers would be like this. Yes, I will, or yes, we will, or yes, he will, or yes, she will, and so on and so forth. And for the negative short answer, it will be like this. 
No, I won't. No, you won't. And so on and so forth. We we always have to remember that the short form of will is won't. Now we've come to the information questions or WH questions. They are formed with a WH question at the beginning of the sentence. That could be what, when, where, who, why, or how. Followed by the modal will, the subject, the verb again in infinitive, and the rest of the information to make a complete sentence with meaning. Here in the example, the question is, when will you go to the park? Remember to place the question mark at the end of the sentence. After seeing and listening to all the explanations, I would like to show you some examples. She will go to South America. Notice the use of the modal will and the verb in infinitive or its face form. He will be happy. It follows the same rule. Use of modal will and verb in infinitive. Here we have another sentence. When will dinner be ready? This shows the WH word at the beginning of the sentence. Then modal will and after that the subject followed by the verb in infinitive. Then comes the rest of the sentence. This is the structure for WH questions. Now take a look at this other example. Will you buy food at the supermarket? This is a question that begins with will and is followed by subject and then the verb in infinitive. And of course the rest of the sentence. Finally, here are some other examples of affirmative sentences. They will know what to do and his mother will help him learn it. Very good! We've come to the end of this presentation and I would just like to summarize some points about Will Future with you. Forming Will Future is very easy. You only need Will and the infinitive form of the verb. The short negative form of Will is WON'T. The yes-no questions begin with Will followed by the subject and then the verb in infinitive. The information questions begin with a WH word followed by will and then the subject and then the verb and of course the rest of the sentence. I am really glad that you were here and I hope to have you here some other time. Goodbye!